Hey, welcome in rock stars. Happy Thursday to everyone. And today's topic we're going to talk about is photography, eBay photography, taking better photos. There were a lot of workshops at eBay open in Vegas and a lot of great presenters. Also, those of you that may know one of the Shine Award winners, uh, Katie Zoberberg, did a great post this morning uh, about her photos. Um, she has amazing photos, great work by her. Um, and I just posted in the Facebook group uh, one of my posts and my setups. But basically the importance of three things with photography, and that is your background, your lighting, and your camera setup. So essentially a ton of people do, um, you know, basic iPhone photos, which is perfect. The majority of the people that take these photos and did the photo workshops, including Griff's, were set up on iPhones, which is no problem at all, especially if you have a seven or a 6S. If you're older than a six or seven, you may need to upgrade, um, but that's number one. And we're gonna talk more about that in just a minute. Number two is that eBay's touting and pushing for white backgrounds. At first I was against it, and I'm not a big fan of the white backgrounds. However, uh, after changing my setup and doing a better set of photos, I'm now happy with the white background. Again, we're gonna get into that in just a minute. I'm gonna show you some better photos. The third one is your lighting, which I have a, an amazing lighting kit down below. It's $70, it's $69.99 directly through Amazon. It's down below, it's a set of two, LED lights, and uh, I believe they're 700 watts or 750. They're amazing Limo Studio lights. They make all the difference. You're gonna see them in just a minute if you're not familiar with my setup. Um, you don't have to spend $70. You can buy cheaper setups. You can buy one. I definitely recommend getting at least two. Some people use three. We're gonna talk about all these in a minute. Those are the three most important things. I'm gonna start with the background though. Currently, I'm using a white reflector, photography reflector with a piece of white um, sheeting behind it and I'm at the store I'm at Office Depot right now trying to upgrade to something a little bit more professional a little a little bit better I like my setup but I think I can do better so come along with me into Office Depot it's starting to rain and uh, let's see what kind of backgrounds they have all right guys so we're actually inside of Office Depot here and I want to show you what I'm gonna use now instead of that reflector background this here and this is in the section with like the stickers and all that this is a roll of fadeless bulletin board paper can you guys see this let me zoom in on it uh, we're not getting some good 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 zoom sorry about that should be able to read it now it's the glare off the thing anyways this is fadeless bulletin board paper and so basically I'm gonna use this right here and I'm gonna pin it to the wall and then I'm gonna unroll it I'm gonna unroll it and then it'll be down behind the mannequin pin it it's got no reflection it's solid you won't be able to see through it and then when I'm done you can just roll it back up and uh, this is four foot by 12 foot four foot by 12 foot and uh, so four foot wide and you'll be able to get you know enough coverage for the mannequin and then 12 foot you can roll it down you know six or seven foot and then roll it back up and if you ever need to get rid of it you can cut it and have a second piece and uh so this is 9.99 this should be awesome this will be better than fabric that won't wrinkle better than bed sheets and this should do what i need it to do um i don't see a problem uh but we'll take it home and we'll see how it works out i'll show you guys this in just a little bit so let's cash out of here 10 bucks good for your setup it is bulletin board paper all right guys, so done in there at Office Depot, and I'm gonna to try to show you again since I'm out of the store. Um, this is the, I'm gonna turn the camera around, Fadeless, Fadeless Premier Ultra Fade Resistance Bulletin Board Paper. And uh, this is a four foot by 12 foot roll, so basically four foot wide, uh, 12 foot long, there it is. And um, so that'll be perfect to just lay out, you know, lay like width ways for that and then just roll it down and then roll it back up when we're done each day. Uh, this was $9.99, probably cheaper than any fabric you're gonna get, uh, sheets you're gonna get, and I think it's gonna be better than using fabric or sheets. And uh, so that's what we're gonna use it for. You can get that at Office Depot. I'm sure they probably have it at Staples, maybe Target, maybe Walmart, maybe cheaper. You can buy it online. Just what I'm gonna use for now, and uh, we'll see how it works. I'll report back on you, uh, back to you on how the photos come out. Maybe tomorrow we'll do another video. And uh, so now we can head home and set this up and go over a little bit of the haul I got today. And uh, hopefully that'll help your pictures out. 
All right, you guys, so I'm here with kind of what is a temporary setup. We're kind of moving our photo setup around and kind of getting it uh, back into being more professional than what we had. So I wanna show you guys what we have now for those of you that are not familiar with this and how you can easily set up a really professional photography setup, whether it's for eBay, whether you're starting a YouTube channel, you could put this behind you and you could be in the lighting or any business, whether you sell clothing like this or whether you sell electronics that you wanna put on a, on a table or in a light box. This is a really, really easy way to do your photos. So um, this is what we have now. And so this is our mannequin and I'm gonna, I'm gonna get me out of the picture here. So this is our mannequin. This is our female one, of course. We have it just, this is like one of those couch tables with the lights under it. We don't use the light, you certainly could, but we just have this in lieu of a full body mannequin. This is like a tabletop. So this is how we set it up. Again, this is probably sitting at about five and a half feet tall. And we have a light reflector. This is a, a professional photographer's light reflector. And then we have the white padding sheet behind it so that you don't see the wall through it. And that's kind of where I had a problem with the backdrop. And so the backdrop is what I just bought, what you guys just saw me pick up at the store here. And this is just gonna go right here. And then it's just gonna roll down behind it and we'll be able to get rid of that reflector thing. So I think that's gonna work better than this photography reflector kit that we have going on. Nothing wrong with this. This was about 30 or $40 on eBay or Amazon. You can just look them up. This was $10 at Office Depot that I just bought. Mannequins, I typically get them online. You can find them on Craigslist, on OfferUp, LetGo. I have never bought them off eBay or Amazon because they're a lot to ship, but you certainly could. I got lucky, I got this for about 20, 25 bucks. So uh, same with my male one, I bought four at a time, I paid like 100 or $110 for all four of them. Okay, so moving on, that white background is what eBay wants. And so you can see it kind of, we got the yellow wall going on here. This roll is gonna stretch out farther so that it'll stretch down. So that gives us our background. However you set up your mannequin, you really gotta have these pro photos. This is the lighting kit, and excuse the other stuff in our house, my office and stuff over there. Um, this is Limo Studio, and these are really good bulbs. They come off, they're really easy to replace. If anything ever happened to the bulb, you just pull it up, bulbs in there, really easy. Some people like the cover, some people don't like them, I like them. I don't like the umbrella ones, but it's all personal preference. So you've got one there, you can see the light, it, it shines on, and then you've got the second one here. They're fully adjustable, they go up and down and you just flip of a switch, you can flip it off, you can flip it off, and there you go. Look what that looks like with no light, and then look what it looks like with a light. And I use these exact same lights when I do YouTube shows for you guys, I bring them in. Typically I only have one, I may do two just to show you the difference on video, but that is what you get. So a lighting kit like this, this is 70 bucks on Amazon, I have it linked down below if you're interested in it, feel free to buy it. If you don't wanna buy it, I understand but it's a really good kit. Now you can get away with one and then you could center it and point it right at it, but you will get shadows on the edges. So it's definitely best to have two. Some people even like to do three from above. I don't think that's necessary. I think two is great. Um, and you can you know, see what it does for the lighting. Now you can buy cheaper ones. There's ones available for 30, for 40, but this set is, this exact set that I have is 60, I believe it's 60 or 69. I think it might be 69 on Amazon. The link's down below, you can check it out. And then you can buy that roll of paper that I just got for 10 bucks. So if these are 70 and that's 10, that's 80 in a mannequin, for less than $100, you can set this up. You could even go a little cheaper and, and you know do one light or even a cheaper set of two lights. Maybe you get them for 50. That for 10 is 60 and maybe you get a mannequin for 20. You could do it for 80. What I'm saying guys is for somewhere between 50 and 100 bucks, you can get at least a basic photo setup, lighting setup, and mannequin or even the hanging mannequins would do for now until you get this and your product will stand out from many, many other people's and you will abide by eBay's new uh, push for the white background. Not required, but recommended. And it looks professional. If you don't believe me, go look up BHFO, you'll see. So this can also be done again if you have a table and you wanna set a product on it, shine the lights down at it, a plain white table or whatever. If you're selling electronics or smaller items that are tabletop, you can set up a light box. Same theory, you'll still wanna have the lights pointed down, good lighting, good white background, all the good stuff. So this is just how to take better photos. This could be eBay, this could be Amazon, this could be Poshmark, Etsy, whatever you take photos for. This could be for your YouTube channel where you wanna be the guy sitting behind it. You have gotta create a professional image if you're going to be a professional business person, whether it's for eBay, whether it's for Amazon, whatever it's for. So. 
there is my little update on um, taking better photos, taking the perfect setup, and for improving the quality of your listings, etc. So thanks to Katie Zilverberg who, uh, who put that post out this morning on her page and, uh, and for inspiring everyone to take better photos at eBay Open. This is one of the shirts I picked up today, a nice little Ed Hardy shirt. I'll show you guys a few other items I picked up right now from the Goodwill outlets today. All right, this is where you line your carts up inside the Goodwill. We stopped by the outlet. I can't film all the other stuff, but I can at least show you guys this. This is how people fill your carts, fill your carts, fill your carts. Go over, dig through the bins, and then fill your carts. And then when you're done, you go and check out. Those of you that never been inside a Goodwill outlet. Here's how we line up some of the uh, racks. They let us just sort through. Tons of good stuff that you can find. Literally just come through and you just sort, sort. It's already been picked through, so most of this stuff's just gonna be junk stuff for the most part. But um, when they first come out, they're full of really good stuff. And then you just pull it all off the racks, take it back to your cart, fill up your cart, and you're all set. And they usually bring out one run of racks for us, which is really nice, because there's a lot of good stuff here. Okay, so there's the first picture of the light setup of our new um, uh, light setup, and it doesn't have the drop-down menu just yet, or the drop-down roll. Haven't set it up yet. Just giving you guys an idea of how to put your lighting. That's the new Ed Hardy shirt that I just bought today uh, that we're going to get listed. And by the time you hear this, it probably is listed live on eBay. And then I'm going to show you an up close of this Christian Algier Ed Hardy shirt. You guys remember Ed Hardy. Doesn't sell great. It paid like 75 cents at the bin, but get about 10 to 12 bucks. It's got really great graphics. Maybe a little more for that one. So pretty good find there. The second one, now I'm showing you guys just some of the examples of ter terrible photos people put. I just snapped this up against the wall. It's a pair of Cabela's hunting, fishing, neoprene, uh, like overall pants there. People would use this to like fly fish or, you know, wade into the water to fish or hunt. Um, very, very good find. Heavy, probably four to five dollars cost, even at the outlet, maybe three or four, somewhere in that neighborhood, three to five bucks. Definitely gonna get 40, 50, maybe 60 bucks out of those overalls. Uh, the next piece you're gonna see here is a guest dress for a woman. It's black, it's got some pleather, it's got uh, lace. It's a really nice black guest dress, something I think I can get 20 to 25 dollars out of. It was lightweight, so it'll go first class and uh, pretty good profit out of that nice guest dress. So the next piece, this is just a plain old Talbot shirt for a woman, but Talbot shirts do really, really well. This is 10 to 12 bucks, even plain, paid 75 cents to a dollar for it. Uh, this again, a plain green men's tasso elbow polo. You guys, Elba, tasso elba. It's T-A-S-S-O-E-L-B-A. -S -S great shirts, great quality. They sell really good. Here's one that I'll get about 15 to 24, paid about a buck for it by weight. The next piece is going to make you guys laugh. It says Fat Bastard Cycling. It's a cycling shirt. It's cool. It has some interesting graphics on it. Obviously, it was custom made. It's still something I think somebody's going to eat up and uh, hopefully pay 20 bucks for. All right. The next piece is a Victorian dress similar to the one I got last week. Paid about two bucks for it. And I believe the one last week sold for 25. And sticking on that uh, trend there, here's some medieval looking... Um, corset that I bought. Really interesting piece. It has some heavy brass or metal pinup pieces that, that hook it together. It's not like a normal like Victoria's Secret corset that just has a little, you know, cheapo hooks in the back. This one is quality. Uh, something like medieval or just, I don't even know, but I bought it and I'm going to take a swing at it. So that's that piece. And then the last one I'm going to give you guys a hard good piece that I bought. How cool is this? A voodoo you love doll with pens. It's got a little book in it. It's creepy. It's cool. Maybe I'll keep it for Valentine's Day and less one of you awesome people want it. But uh, this thing was probably 50 cents by weight. I'm going to try to get 15 or $20 for it. It's unique. It's awesome. It's weird and it's cool. And sometimes I buy stuff that's not clothing at the Goodwill outlet. So today's purchase was... $49 or $50, and uh, which means I bought about 35 pounds, almost 40 pounds of clothes uh, and hard goods. So very awesome day. I got a pile of ties. I got some hoodies. I got some, you know, normal shirts, like some polos and Tommy Hilfiger, all kinds of good stuff. I'm not showing you guys all of the haul because I know I don't want to bore you out. And I mix these videos up a little bit of photography, a little bit of the haul. Hopefully you guys 
enjoyed it. And if you're listening to this, it's about 7, 7.30 p.m. Eastern time Thursday. And at 9 p.m. Eastern, we're going to have a special guest, Catherine from Catherine's Closet, on my live show in just about an hour and a half, about 90 minutes. So make sure you come back. Just come to my channel. Tune in at 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, 6 p.m. Pacific. And hopefully I'll see you all on the live show. I'll link it down below this video if you want to go to it and bookmark it. See you guys then.